What's up guys? Rob from Clicks Geek, and in today's video I want to talk about how to get a PPC job immediately. This week, it's totally possible and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So there's two main websites that you should be using when you're looking. If you're just looking to get a job, straight up take a client, get a job like that. I'm not talking about go work at a digital agency. That's a longer process, but if you need to start applying for for jobs on like the the uh, websites like Upwork and Odesk, stuff like that where people post pay-per-click manager jobs where they need someone to come in and just fulfill a certain role for a certain amount of time, then you can find these kinds of people right now. You can start looking today. And For the most part, I believe it's free to sign up to these websites and um, you can apply for a few jobs before you have to upgrade to paid stuff. But what you're looking at right now is Upwork. This is probably one of the biggest job sites, okay, where you can go on and find people for your project. So if you come up to the top search bar, you're going to come down here to jobs, apply to jobs posted by clients. So this is how you're going to try and find your first PPC clients. You come here and do PPC manager. And you're going to look here. And it's going to show you a giant list of all these other all these clients who are looking for someone to do a Google AdWords audit, account setup, initial ad campaign. So they're looking for people who have your skill set, all right? So these people are willing to pay. They're telling you what they're going to pay, 30 to 40 an hour, 10 to 30 hours a week needed. And you're just going to kind of comb through, and you're going to look at the jobs. You're going to see which ones are, are more suited to your skill set, and you're just going to apply to them. Now, obviously, you have to sign in, and you have to sign up to register to you have to create a profile, and some of the some of the best things I can do, guys, and advice-wise for you, if you're going the Upwork route, is you have to flush out your profile. Okay, make sure you have if you have Google Ads accreditations, make sure that you have that listed in there. Um, make sure you have a picture of yourself. Make sure you have your company name, or if you're not, you don't have a company yet. Make sure that you're just telling your all all about your experience in Google Ads. The more certified you can you can be, the better when it comes to Google. To, um, certification program because people look for that stuff and you want to make sure that you have uh, some experience on your belt I know that's tough because that's like the chicken before the egg thing it's how am I supposed to get jobs when you know I don't, people won't hire me for my experience but I think Ed my partner Ed made a video about that on our channel not too long ago where he goes and talks about how uh, you just go to anyone you know through your network anyone and tell them you'll do it for free even if it's only for a couple days just to run some ads just so you can get some experience running them and uh, you can use that as experience to get further launch you into more jobs. But guys, I can't stress this enough. Make sure if you're going to go on and take clients, make sure you know what you're doing. Okay? Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to waste your time. You're going to waste the client's time and his money. And you don't want to do that. All right? You only want to do great work. So make sure before you go take a job from someone, make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. All right? And if that's, you know, Google... Um, e-commerce campaigns if you never ran an e-commerce campaign before definitely don't go get a client and do an e-commerce campaign all right you need to have at least some experience running these campaigns before you go and get clients because otherwise you're gonna it's just not you don't want to do that right it's bad karma you don't want to do that all right so make sure that if you're applying for these jobs that you can actually fulfill what they're looking for so a good one to start out with would be stuff like maybe like a, an audit all right we offer a free audit template i will Put, I don't know where I can put that. I will drop a link below this video, okay, in the description of an audit template that you can take and make your own. All right, and you can just use this, and you can go and start getting experience. Maybe start searching for um, Google AdWords audit temp, like audits, in here, and start fulfilling those jobs first, just to get some experience under your belt and a little bit of money before you start going to the bigger jobs. So that's definitely an option. I will uh, put that in the description below this video, so you guys can have that. And <clears throat> Other than that, I mean, it's just really, it's that simple. Just keep going through and just, if you see jobs you like, apply. Uh, don't apply to every single job. People don't send a generic response to every single job, a copy and paste thing. You need to have a custom proposal for each job. All right. And if you don't know how to do that, there's lots of free resources on YouTube where you can just search um, Upward Proposal Template or something like that. But make sure you customize each proposal you send to these jobs. Because a lot of these people, they post these jobs and they say something like, to, 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 know that, to know that you're not just copying and pasting, please say the word like, hello, or hi, or whatever, in the, before you send your proposal. Because they're, they're going to, 
they get bombarded with people who just copy and paste and apply to every single AdWords job. All right, so the more you can stand out, the better. There's a lot of different options how to make yourself stand out and when applying for Upwork jobs, stuff like that. So like I said, make sure you go to YouTube and uh, you can start learning some of those methods on how to stand out. But this is a great resource, Upwork, to start making money this week, right now. Okay? You can pick up a job tomorrow or tonight or whenever. I mean, it all depends on how how hard you go after it and how much you, you research and how much you learn about how to set proposals and stuff like that. Again, that's all free information, guys. You can go on YouTube. You can hit the Google. You can hit Google search and start looking up how to make my proposals unique to Upwork, stuff like that. And you'll find people who just are going to give you awesome stuff. All right, so that's one. So Upwork, definitely you can use this one. The next one we're going to go to is Odesk. It's just odesk.com. Oh, and I should have said it's upwork.com too. It's the first one. So if we go to Odesk. It's type, it's the same thing. Come up here. We're going to find projects. And we're going to do PPC manager. You can see here it's a little different. You're going to have more um, search criteria. So we got nothing here. So PPC manager. Let's try to find freelancers. So we're a freelancer. Find projects. Let's try that. There we go. 364 projects found. For oh, we don't have search. Hold on. All right. Looks like Odesk doesn't have any PPC manager stuff. Which is strange. Let's try this. All right, four projects found for Google Ads. And again, just try different keywords. Some people don't use PPC when they post jobs. Um, I would also try Google AdWords. So Google Ads. So we got a job here. Facebook ads expert. Please don't look that. Odesk is not obviously as big as Upwork. All right, here's a Google AdWords one. Odesk used to be much more fleshed out. I'm actually surprised there's not more jobs on here. Yeah, all right. So. I would scratch Odesk from this. Odesk used to be much more uh, pay-per-click friendly. I don't really see any jobs on here for pay-per-click. There used to be a ton. Interesting. All right, yeah, uh, scratch Odesk, guys. Don't use that. Upwork. Upwork, obviously, there's hundreds of jobs for PPC Manager. If we go to Google Ads, let's see what that brings up. 552 jobs, so there's more than enough here to uh, get going. <coughs> Paper click specialist, lots of different keywords you can search to uh, find these jobs. So, like I said, all right, go after Upwork. Make sure you do some research to to uh, learn how to send proposals. Do some research on how to send video proposals. Those are those are really effective. Um, I'm not going to go into what that is right now, but you can actually take a bit. You can read the description of the job. Usually they'll tell you what their website is or what they want the project to be. You can make a video showing them like all your skills or how you can how you can help them or whatever stuff like that. So research how to do that video proposals, and I will send a a link in the description for the audit. All right, for the uh, Google AdWords audit. So you have a template you can follow to go do some audits. So let me. Uh, I should be curious actually. Let's see if there's. Wow. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here that you guys can get dive into and start getting uh, getting jobs quickly. All right, so hopefully I've answered your question here: how to get a Google PPC Manager job today, this week, next week. It really depends, guys, on, on how much you how hard you really go after this. There's and I know it can be a little overwhelming. 
but just come on Upwork, sign up. I'm not getting, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that, so this is totally on you guys. Sign up to Upwork. Remember, flesh out your profile. Do do it up as much as you possibly can. All right, the, the more the better. Make sure you have your custom proposals for each job you submit to, and again, make sure your skills are up to par with the job that that you're applying for. Okay, we don't want to apply for jobs that we don't know what we're doing because that's going to be a problem. All right. You want to have a good reputation, especially on Upwork, because you're allowed to rate the people that you work with. And the higher the rating you have for completion of jobs you do, the more the more uh, jobs you're going to get. All right, so like I said, hopefully this uh, helps you guys out a little bit. If you have any questions, anything like that, drop them in the comment section below this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And besides that, I will see you guys in the next video.